Hi y'all, welcome to Donna's Farmhouse Kitchen. The little Sky and I are back in the kitchen and uh, we are gonna make something very special today. This is something that my grandmother used to make. Shirley uh, Rosenberger is gonna be our third recipe contest winner. And this is a pumpkin bread. I don't know if I've ever had it because my grandmother didn't live close to us and she lived close to Shirley. So I know Shirley's had it, Shirley's made this. My grandmother used to make it in the one pound green bean cans. That's how my grandmother used to make it. I'm not gonna make it in that today. Uh, I am gonna make it in a pan, but uh, let's go ahead and get everything mixed up and then we will bring out the pan. So we're gonna start off with one cup of shortening. Go ahead. These are the Crisco sticks and we're going to cream this up real quick. Three eggs. What? Three eggs? Yes, three of them. One's busted. That can you count them? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Very good. And then we're also going to add in some pure pumpkin. So this is going to be two cups of pure pumpkin. Oh, that's okay. You're not probably going to like it that way. No, it is. I don't like it. She likes it anyway. Okay. <laughs> so what I did was I used one 15 ounce can and then about another tablespoon out of another can. So I just went dipped in, in there and brought out exactly what I needed. So we're gonna mix this real quick and then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredient. doesn't have any sugar in it. <laughs> so now we're gonna add two and a half cups of sugar. You ready? No, 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 no. Pour, pour. No, not hands. Not your hands. Not in my face. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's try to pour. Pour, here. Nothing else to me besides cinnamon says fall and cloves. So we're gonna do one teaspoon of cloves. Okay. No. No. I don't feel delicious. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of baking soda. And one teaspoon of salt. Okay. Now we're gonna mix all of these yummy spices together. Here, your turn. Go for hands. So now that's all mixed up. How's it taste? Delicious. Delicious. Is it good? Uh -huh. Okay. So now we're going to put in three and a half cups of flour, all purpose flour. You ready? Okay. okay. When you're measuring out your flour, make sure that you use a spoon and just spoon it in and then level it off, right? Right. Right. Okay, you ready to mix it up? You gotta mix it up very carefully. You ready? You wanna do it? Uh, no. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're going to put 
this in two loaf pans. Now I have this beauty that I found at a festival in Hendersonville and I've been dying to use it. So this is a great opportunity to use something that is antique. So that's um, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spray these really good. Normally I do that in my sink. Let's do this other pan. She's gonna eat while I um, put it in the pan. She's enjoying the taste. You did a good job helping me. You know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I bet Grandma Dorothy would be very proud of you. So we're gonna take a little spatula and we're just gonna spread it out. Here you go. So you ready to put yours in the oven? Uh -huh. Okay, so we're gonna go put ours in the oven and um, I will let you know how long when I get back because there are no instructions as to how long this goes in the oven because it's being made in a different pan. So I'll let you know when we get back. Look how beautiful these came out. Don't they look wonderful? One thing my grandmother did not do according to the recipe is uh, put anything on top of this. But I am, I'm going to make a cinnamon glaze to put on top of this. So to make this glaze, I'm going to use a cup of powdered sugar. I'm just eyeballing everything. So basically, I'm just making this as I go. So we're gonna put in a teaspoon of cinnamon and we're gonna whisk that together. Then I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. And then we'll add more. I put in a total of four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. And you just want to whisk it until it's nice and smooth. Now it's going to be really thick, but that's how I want it. Mm, yummy. That is perfect. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I've put it, uh, the icing in a bag. I'm gonna go ahead and just drizzle it over the bread. It's not really drizzling, but And the bread's a little warm, so I'm hoping that it will make it thin up a little bit. That's the reason for this. I wanted it thicker, so when it actually went over the bread, it will thin up a little bit. 
may hear a little one in the background. He's doing her own little thing. But this tastes delicious. I'm trying to get it to go down the sides. Just do some soft taps. I don't think I mentioned how long I baked these for. So I kept adding five minutes. So I ended up baking them for about 50 minutes until my cake tester came out clean. So that's what you want to do. And you'll have some firmness on top also, no jiggling going on. And, um, but most importantly, the tester comes out clean. So I hope that you will try these yummy pumpkin breads and um, enjoy them. Enjoy them with your family and your friends. And these would be wonderful for Thanksgiving morning. This would be something fantastic to have with the family that's come over and just serve them up some pumpkin bread. And then a little bit later, you have the big feast. So y'all enjoy this. Thank you so very much for joining me. Thank you for sharing my videos. I see you out there doing it and it's so appreciated. Don't forget now, this was the third recipe contest winner. So uh, Shirley will get a prize. just like you can. So make sure you keep sending in those recipes so I can choose your recipe. So thank you so much again and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.